I cheated and uh, did something that I've, I don't know that I've ever actually done before. And I invited folks on Twitter, if you can ask a question in one tweet, I might read it. And uh, so I have a number of questions here. And the one that I am... Well, mine, why, why isn't mine working that way? I don't know. It's, it's, you know uh, Twitter is just, just it, drives it, me it, insane It's got times. us both shadow blocked against each other, I guess. I think so. But um, so this one, I, I'm, I'm torn between two at the moment, but this is the one I'm going to pick. Why is the Trail of Blood fake church history? <laughs> that uh, is the first question uh, before okay. the college. Uh, yeah, well, uh, see, I could have gone and grabbed my copy. Uh, I have it somewhere. Um uh, be, because it, anything is fake church history that is attempting to create a narrative, um, and hence will quote facts of church history, but then will not quote contexts and counterfacts to the narrative you're attempting to create. So, the whole idea of the Trail of Blood is that there is this pure stream of basically fundamentalist Baptists, <laughs> um, all the way back to the first Baptist, John the Baptist, um, and that they were never, you know, it was never part of the Church of Rome, and it almost always grants to Rome a much earlier origination than Rome actually had, as far as the Church of Rome, yeah, historically, very, very early. Uh, Paul was very much, you know, that he was writing to the Church of Rome. We know it's early. Uh, but the idea of Roman Catholicism and the associated doctrines, uh, fundamentalist Baptists figure that you you basically had a pope just like today uh, by you know two hundred or something like that, which just simply isn't true. Um, so you 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 end up bringing together the Waldensians and all these other people, and you sort of ignore some of the problems they had theologically. And you, you put together a bunch of groups, groups that never would have gotten together historically because of their beliefs were very different from one another, and they weren't really good at being, getting along with other people very well anyways. And you come up with this, this idea. It's not that there is not fascinating information about uh, the Albigensians and Waldensians and things like that. And it's also quite true that most of their history was written by other people. And hence, it's not fair. So I think... There's, there, it is appropriate to read uh, good books by good scholars like Leonard Verdine and recognize that there are going to be some people that are going to want to nuance some of the things he said. Other people are just going to disagree. Read widely. Uh, don't just stick with necessarily what the lectures were in your church history class. Um, but the, the Trail of Blood is just isn't scholarly on that level. It just doesn't deal with... Um, all the history that would um, in any way militate against the narrative that you have this very clear uh, group that just never was a part of quote-unquote Rome. Um, that's the primary thing they're going for. Oh, that's 